Okay, so back to this lovely topic about drinking in a bar and drinking at a fraternity house or underground. Um, I'd like to point out that if, let's say, like, if there's been a dramatic increase in binge drinking between people between the ages of 18 and 20, um, then those people, they might be afraid to contact the police if something does happen. Like, there has been instances where people drink way too much at parties and they end up dying, but they could have been saved and their friends didn't call out of fear of maybe the party being shut down or maybe them even getting arrested. And if this was in a bar, you know that immediately they would um, be given medical attention because of they're in this venue and obviously like bars and clubs don't want that on their hands. Um, I would also like to talk about um, the brain issue. Um, he claims that the brain does not fully develop until early 20s. This is true, however, the age is not completely accurate. There's been studies that show your brain does not fully develop until you're actually 25. Um, in one article by Ronald Kotluck, um, he's a very famous author who's written numerous books about um, brain development and has won the Pulitzer Prize as well. Um, in his article in the Chicago Tribune, they're just joking around saying, brain scientists like to joke that the car rental companies must have the best neuroscientists scientists because they won't let a person rent a car until age 25. Um, by letting us drink at 21, you're already like impairing the development of your brain at that age. Um, but there's still, yeah. Um, if we're responsible enough at this age to make rational decisions and voting and stuff, and they can drink at 18, I don't see a huge difference between the age groups. Um, I'd also like to point out that they're saying drinking, or keeping the drinking age at 21 is better for highway, like it's a matter of highway safety, but I'd like to provide you with a statistic um, done by the Behavioral Policies and Teen Traffic Safety that um, in 2009, the 21 to 24 year old age group had the highest percentage of drivers in fatal car crashes with blood alcohol concentration levels of 0 0.08 or higher. Uh, regardless of the age, the first three years of drinking, unfortunately, are going to have the highest number of automobile like fatalities involving drunk driving. Um, um, also, in addition to that, they're saying that since the MLDA 21 has been like established, there's been a dramatic uh, decrease in drunk driving. Um, it's been a dramatic decrease in every single age group and in all the demographics, not just the 18 to 20 year olds. So you cannot fully base that assumption that um, being between the ages of 18 and 20 will automatically um, is automatically a result because the age is 21. Everybody has been affected and. Um, uh, in 1982, the percentage was at its, or 1990, the percentage was at an all-time high at 60%, and so far it's gone down 38%, so it's not a direct result of um, that act being passed, because even just a few years after that, you saw a dramatic increase. Um, we must all take into consideration a steady decline, because they cannot fully improve their